we have to measure 13 milliliters of alumina. Use the graduate cylinder. If you want to use the funnel, that is fine. If not, that's okay. And again, this 13 milliliters doesn't have to be exactly 13. It could be anywhere between 12 and 14 milliliters. And by the way, while taking alumina, if you spill some, please take a piece of wet paper towel and wipe the surface clean. As I always say, there is no shame in spilling, but leaving things uncleaned is not acceptable. That's about 12.5 and I have close to 13 milliliters in this graduate cylinder. Again, please make sure that you keep the jar of alumina tightly covered. Okay. Now, using the same funnel that you use to transfer hexane, we can transfer alumina. So, place the funnel and hopefully the funnel is dry by now and also the inner surface of this column. If it is not, alumina is going to get stuck there, but we will have to just rinse it later with hexane. So, let us pour alumina. And if you pour it in this fashion slowly, it will keep getting settled well in the column. You don't have to pour all of it at once. If you notice that there is some clogging, we can gently tap the column. We can also use what we call as a Barnett tapper. It is just used to tap, but because we use the Barnett College pencil and the tapper attached to it, this is our joke here, we call it as Barnett tapper. So continue to add and if you notice that the level is raising too high, obviously because we are adding this solid, if you want to release some of the solvent slowly. it is okay to do so. So you can have the solvent running slowly, then continue to add alumina. Tap it in the middle if you want. And if this happens to you that alumina got clogged there, what we could do is take a little bit of hexane and just squirt some. Let's continue to add alumina. Okay. After transferring all of alumina, if you want to rinse the funnel with a little bit of hexane, please do so. This way, this funnel will be clean when you want to use it the next time for whatever you want to transfer. I am going to keep my hexane container uh, without covering it now because I will be continuously using. It is okay to leave it like this without covering it with a pipette in it as long as you are using this. Okay. You notice that there is a fine cloudy layer that is the fine layer of alumina attaching to the column surface. We can always rinse it using some hexane and while the solvent is going down, if you want, hold the column and tap it to ensure 
that the column is packed in a compact fashion. You can turn this off, open it, you can do anything as long as the sample has not been added. Once we transfer the sample onto the column, we should not turn this stopcock off or we should not close it. The elution should be continuous.